So we've shared with you what we love about our Intex Soul Horizon. Now, after a year of using the travel trailer, we're gonna share with you what we really don't like about this RV. Okay, so we have been traveling across the country in our Soul Horizon for about a year now. We've been boondocking, campgrounds, um, all kinds of places, all kinds of uses. And over that time, we have definitely found things that we don't like about this trailer. Now, keep in mind, there's just a few things that we don't like. Overall, we really love the Soul Horizon, correct? It's a short list. It's a very short list. And pretty much 90% of it is mine. So, <laughs> so um, just keep that with a grain of salt. We'll share what we just don't like. And number one, above all else, is the bed for me. I just really despise the bed, at least for my situation. And I am definitely different than other people might be. And I think it's different because you hear that it's a normal queen size bed. You get all excited. It's a traditional queen size bed. You could use any mattress, um, plenty of room. But generally on a queen size mattress at home, you can walk around. You're going to have a little bit more space. Like if your shoulder is hanging off the edge, that's fine. When you are in the Soul Horizon, you literally are enclosed with about three and a half walls. I mean, it's totally mattress right up to the wall. There is no gap in between. And I think first and foremost, that starts limiting how much space you have to sleep right there because there is no opportunity to kind of hang over the edge um, and have that wiggle room of space when there's two people. Um, then the back of the trailer kind of slants like this, which gives it the distinct shape and aerodynamic. But because of that, it starts slanting just a little bit, just a little bit, not anything too noticeable, but just a little bit over that bed. So again, it's not that you're completely to that wall. Um, and then you're against the walls and the walls get cold. It's an RV. They're not insulated that well. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they get really really cold and for the person that has to sleep against the wall it's downright frigid sometimes it depends on the temperatures that you're camping in um, but we've been camping in like 50 degrees at night upper 40s and it's still surprisingly really cold to the touch when you touch the walls um so yeah so we've gone to putting pillows and blankets to kind of insulate all around, which obviously takes up more room of the bed. Um, yeah, there's just so many things. <laughs> yeah, and if you're you're tall like me, I'm six feet tall, so <clears throat> I have fairly broad shoulders. So, and we're not used to sleeping shoulder to shoulder at home. So <clears throat> not like that. No, you it's again. A for us. Usually, you would have some wiggle room. Right. Like somebody on the other mm -hmm. side might have like a shoulder hanging off, or I don't know. It's just different. And then with Daniel being taller for the 2021 horizon. Now I know that the older horizons have a little bit of a different makeup on one of those walls in the bedroom. So this is for 2021. For ours, the TV is hanging down lower um, on that wall. And then when we put in a mattress that is at max heights that we can fit in there, actually your feet touch the bottom mm -hmm. of the TV. Um, so if you are tall, that could actually be a pretty big deal. Yeah. Um, cause you could be a tall person sleeping on a queen size bed and think you're fine, but do it where there's no wiggle room and there's a TV hanging over the end. And that's something completely different. Um, and then along those lines, there is only so much space in between the bottom of the bed platform and where the electrical outlets, the USB outlet and the tiny little tables that Intech installs is. You only have so much space in between all of that to put in a like a mold prevention underlayment if you want one, the mattress, a mattress topper, any of that. Trying to find a decent sized mattress or a decently comfortable mattress that will fit in that space frame has been exceedingly difficult for me because I need more of a plush and soft mattress. 
Um, most of the ones that you're finding out there are about five to six, they generally go about five to six inches thick or they start at like eight or nine mm -hmm. inches thick. And if you want any of like the underlayment, like um, the coconut pads that we have to prevent mold or a froley system mm -hmm. for that airflow, you can't really go with that eight to nine inch mattress because it's going to be really, really tight. So you have to go with the smaller mattresses, which tend to be firmer and they just really, they're really hurting my back. I have fibromyalgia and I cannot get comfortable with any of the very thin mattresses, even though we've put very plush mattress toppers on top again, um, it's just not working and it's causing me a lot of pain, but that's just me personally. Um, and then I have a whole list. <laughs> uh, I'm very passionate about the bed. the bed. Like, yeah, it's like 90% um of what we really don't like about the horizon and again it's something that when you're taking a tour inside you walk in you're like oh this works you see on paper it's queen size bed it's fine you lay down you try it out oh, i can do this then you put in actually using it and all the little things start adding up um the tables that are installed that are on the wall they kind of jut out over the bed as well. So you're losing a little bit of that room. Um, I wish that Intech would make those where they could like fold up and then fold down, like have mm. it as a hinge. Mm -hmm. I think that would be great, which would give you the option of using it um, or not. And then the one at the base of the bed, um, that's not really a space issue down there. But what I wish was that there was a plug or a USB outlet right beside that so that you could plug in a fan, you could plug in your phone down there rather than having all like the outlets and the plugs and all that stuff like right there, right by the head of whoever is sleeping there. And then if you're sleeping two people in the bed, um, it's just really hard to get out. It's it is, yeah. Really hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you're scooting to the end of the bed and like getting out around their feet and not disturbing them. If you have to get up in the middle of the night, you're just full on climbing over somebody yeah. and doing some gymnastics <laughs> and for comfort for us we tend to sleep on our sides yeah we're not really back sleepers most mm -hmm. of the time most of the night so if you have a thin mattress that's not supportive then it's grinding into your you know yes. hip bones and things like that yeah and i tend to toss and turn at night anyway so there's not a lot of room to toss and turn <laughs> <laughs> my, my arms literally hit the back side of the bathroom wall so uh, yeah <laughs> yeah so it's just you know if you know if you're one of those sleepers that lays on their back all night and hardly ever move and you don't move and you don't mind a firm bed right then you know it's fine so yeah so that's about all <laughs> hate the bed oh uh, pretty much so moving on we just only have a few more things yeah, yeah so what do you want to talk about i think for me the short tongue of the trailer um that is from the tip of the hitch back to the front of the trailer here is fairly short on the Intex Soul horizons um it's shorter than a lot of the other travel trailers which you have to be really careful when you're taking sharp turns and and, and backing up you know and you're really jackknifing the trailer to get into someplace or making a tight turn out of a out of a, a driveway or something mm -hmm. you just have to be very mindful that if you're you know, the back corner of your truck or your tow vehicle does not hit this glass because you do not want to break this glass. Uh, this is a specialty custom piece of glass, you know, that's not just sitting on a shelf at, you know, Lee and Kate's or Safe Light. So um, that's just something, you know, if the tongue was about a foot longer, which would make the overall length of the trailer about 20 feet, which is still fairly short, mm -hmm. um, that would be a nice to have. So. Yeah, because we almost had an issue. Yeah, when we first got the trailer. We were really we, close. The back corner of my, the bed of our truck, our tow vehicle almost hit the corner. And, you know, it was a learning curve, but yeah. you get used to it. But it's just something, you know, if you had another foot on the tongue, that would be, that would be great. Yeah. Now, see, that brings me back to another thing, what I've always thought. The bed. The bed. <laughs> I've always said, if you could just add another foot in the back, like a foot on the other side of the mattress, then you would have a little bit more room. There would be a little bit more wiggle room. You could put storage over there. It wouldn't be slanted over the mattress. 
And again, it's like these little things where if you just add a foot or two, mm -hmm. it's still not going to be a huge trailer. Right. You're still not <clears throat> going to be like, I can't fit in a national park. Right. You haven't gotten to that size right. yet. So while it's nice that it's small and nimble at 19 feet, and we really love that, yeah. mm -hmm. I think the benefits that you would get by adding just another foot mm -hmm. or another six inches here or six inches somewhere else, um, I think it could actually just really improve upon the concept and the design mm -hmm. a lot. Just add another foot and make it 20 feet. Okay, another thing that is distinct about the Horizon, um, you're going to find this in a lot of RVs, is the new RV smell. Most of the time in other RVs, it's, I don't know, it's a little bit different. Because there's so many marine grade things and it's a different sort of bathroom setup in a soul, the adhesive is... I think it's very distinctive to like the marine industry, right? Is that what we've heard? Could be, yeah. yeah. It's just a know. very distinctive smell. Um, when we got ours, we got ours used and it had already been like six months used yes. at that time. Mm -hmm. It took at least another six months, I'd say, before the smell really got out. Mm -hmm. Now, when we were using it, it didn't seem to have that much of a smell. But like when it had been... Um, stored for like a week or so you would open the door and it's just like uh it, it's just really strong um and all of like the upholstered items that we had if i took them out of the rv and put them in the house i could smell mm -hmm. that adhesive smell still in the upholstered items now if you don't have any chemical sensitivities and you don't mind smells it's no big deal um i do have chemical sensitivities and even though it was a very strong smell that really worried me. I never really had the reaction like I do with other stuff in other RVs. Mm. Like, yeah, like the some brand new RVs I can't even walk in without getting a headache. Yeah. So even though it was a strong smell, um, it didn't really affect us that we know. And eventually it goes away. But like we were really using activated charcoal, room deodorizers, had every vent open, we run it all day long for weeks and it was still in here. So it's pretty, pretty powerful. Um, and then just two more things. Uh, another one is just a wish list. It's nothing that would be like yay or nay. It's not a deal breaker. It's not a deal breaker. We wish that there was an option to have the um, dinette inset, the bed inset. It is currently housed up here is where it has room. But like right now we do not have the dinette table up and it's really nice to not have that table up mm. sometimes because it just opens up the space so much, um, just really so much. It would be nice to have a place to store that as well. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't fit over, um, right? Does but it... if you have other stuff in there, yeah. you have to kind of shimmy it in there. Yeah. 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 And I guess you could lay it on top of the bed, but it's just one of those tiny nitpicky things yeah. that the way that we use it, we wish it was there. Definitely not a mm -hmm. make or break. And then the other really small thing, and I do re mean really small, um, that's just an aggravation, is the handle for the screen door getting in and out is pretty much like that small and just kind of weird. And just coming from another trailer where it was bigger and easier to grasp, um, I know that it can be done and it has nothing to do with the space issue. That's just right. a matter of adding a different handle. I have small hands and I still have a hard time grasping it. Mm -hmm. So it's just a tiny little thing. Literally. 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 The other thing were the windows. Like if we had a nice to have wish list, it would be great if these windows were double paned. <laughs> um, especially at this price point for this quality of build of a trailer. Um, the single panes when you're really using it in humid, oh. like Florida, or the South, oh, Deep South, man. or even if you were up in the Northwest, up in Oregon, that area, uh, the condensation is pretty epic because it's single pane windows. So, yeah. you know, if, if we had our our druthers, <laughs> our wish list, double pane windows, that would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but again, that's just a nice to have. Yeah, that's just a nice Doesn't mean have. you can't use it. Yeah. So as you can see, it's <laughs> just like, if you've been thinking about a Horizon, you've probably watched all the videos, um, you know, if you know what you're getting into, as far as even like the bed situation, um, if you know that going into it, if you take care while backing up, yeah. 
there's nothing on this list that would prevent you from actually getting no. a Soul Horizon and loving it. No, we still love it. We do. And yeah. the build quality, I mean, just the quality is amazing. Yeah. And the amount that you get in the short space mm -hmm. is just it's astronomical, really. And the build quality, yeah. The yeah. build quality's still hands and feet above the other trailers in this class and this length. So It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So if you have any questions, comments, um, if you have a horizon, let us know what you love and don't like about yours. Um, and be sure to read the comments below to see what everybody's saying. And if you haven't subscribed already, we would love for you to do that. Until next time, everybody, happy traveling. Bye-bye. <laughs>